What's going on, Maskaholics? Well, I've got another kick-ass mask by Justin Mayberry. This just came in the mail like an hour ago. It's a really cool mask called Julian from a movie called Candy Corn that I haven't seen yet. I do want to see this movie, but the Blu-ray of it on Amazon's always like 26 bucks, and I don't know if I want to spend that much money on a movie I haven't seen, but I don't know. I'm tempted to after seeing this mask. He's really, really cool. I'm not sure if this is the the killer from the movie because they do two masks from this movie at Trick or Treat Studios. There's a more like monster looking version of it that's a full latex one. And this is one of those Zagoni style masks where it's just latex in the front and has a wig like sewed into the back. But I didn't really like the look of the other one. The hair work was like really bad on it. So I don't know. This one just personally appealed to me more. So this is the one I got. And plus it was on sale. I picked this up during the big Trick or Treat Studios sale. They have like all these great masks on sale for like under 30, 40 bucks. Some of them are even like 13, 14 dollars. Like big latex full overhead masks for like 14 bucks like ones by Justin Mayberry and stuff so I bought like a ton of masks so you should be seeing those in the the next few weeks so but anyways this is Julian he's a really really cool pumpkin skull style type guy and I'm really really pleased with him especially for like 28 bucks or whatever I paid for him I got them with a bunch of masks, so there was like $15 shipping, but I got them with like a ton of other masks, and they shipped them all in the same box, so it was like $15 shipping for all of them, so that only tacked on like 50 cents or something to this guy, so I basically got this great mask for under $30, and this is one of the best masks I've ever got for that price range, so let's take a look. Look at this great looking smile. It's got the cool little eye holes going on here there's a lot of nice crevices and the paint works really good the latex part is thick it's got a nice wig thing going on here you can spike his hair out a little bit usually I like to like I said I like to give you guys like some info on the movie that one of these guys is from I've seen pretty much like every like horror film but I'm embarrassed to admit that I haven't seen Candy Corn yet and I'll probably rectify that and pick up uh, a blu-ray of that at some point in the near future because it looks pretty cool on the trailer and I'm curious to find out who this guy is after seeing this great mask so once again here's Julian from the movie Candy Corn by Trick or Treat Studios you can get this guy to the 31st I believe for the ridiculously low price of like $28 so get one while supplies last and don't wait forever on this because this guy I'm pretty sure is out of production and they won't be making any more once he's gone.